Okay. All right. Xenoblade fucking drop direct. I was watching it at work because I said, fuck it. I'm not missing this shit. So much goddamn shit came out. Isn't that my fucking love? Isn't that my love? We got so much good shit. Pretty much introdu fucking introductions to characters, heroes, master arts. There is a lot of fuck good shit. And I'm happy. As fuck. For this. And I'm glad I can actually I actually get to see this now. Like, watch the cutscene, okay? Because I couldn't really watch this shit. Because, um... Yeah, yeah, I, I just, I couldn't fucking watch it because I was working and I had this shit. Yup, and I had the phone in my pocket. Now I can actually see what the Ouroboros is. So it's not just, so it's not two people. It's actually just one whole person. And there's four, wait, no. There's six people. What the hell? And there's just this random mastermind. I'm actually like, uh, uh, huh? This story is just going beyond my head. I don't know what's happening, bro. And then I got the whole gist of I was able to listen to everything, pretty much whole story. We got a, they they got ten years, they got ten years to fight, pretty much for war and shit, and they need life. And then we got these evil ass red niggas and masterminds, that, which looks like they're controlling other people and soldiers and forcing them to relink with each other to turn into Ouroboruses. I don't know what's happening. There's a lot of shit. Like, a lot of shit with this. And they got a phone, by the way. Did y'all didn't notice that they have a goddamn smartphone? <laughs> I'm really breaking this is a smartphone. They got smartphones. What the fuck? This is perfect for me. Someone just sent Snapchat streaks in the middle of a battle. Also, I just realized something. Did you not see, like, the tent? Like, the fucking containment tubes of children. No, I don't think I saw that. Yeah, they, pretty much a whole cutscene played of them just walking in the area, and there's just children in tubes. And I don't know what the fuck's happening. Also, there's a cutscene of a child about to get crushed by rubble. That's already about to put everybody in a damper mood. Then the Ouroboros. The, the, by the way, just saying right now, all these shit bags are very fucking good looking. I don't know what engine they're using, but my looks off has really went up when it comes to making everyone move properly. I, I'm fucking in love. Cutscenes look so smooth. <laughs> yeah, yes, everything looks so smooth. Wait, 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 wait! I just noticed something. Lands and sword. Wait, did he just turn that into a Gatling gun? Wait, he turned that into a Gatling gun. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, he placed the sword down in the ground and then used the turned the, the whole handle into a gun. <laughs> Wait, what is happening? What are these weapons? Well, I know who I'm making. These weapons are fucking crazy. Yeah, what? The these weapons are so. What the hell? But Sana broke that. She fucking broke that whole shield. So it's literally a three on three. But then Van Dam was like, hey yo, stop this shit, bro. There is no reason to fight. We both fighting for the same exact shit right now. That that's pretty much my summary. That man looked just like Van Dam. Mm-hmm. Then we got our main cast. Pretty much. No, I was about to say Shulk for some reason. <laughs> it's fucking Shulk popped in my head. I don't know why. We have fucking Noah, which is our main protagonist, obviously. Then see, not see the fuck, Uni. God fucking damn it. Very brash and blunt, but delicate at core. So pretty much the whole tough look on the out, trying to do a whole tough look on the outside, but very soft on the inside. It's one of those kind of things, which probably make people why they like her. Not just because she has a rack, okay? One <laughs> motherfuckers. I wasn't thinking. Oh, no. I was thinking that shit too. Then we got Nia. I said Nia. Fucking, they look alike. All right, they they fucking look alike. They, they look, sound, and act all alike. It's hard to not say differentiate the fucking two. So it's like, and they have 
Yeah. 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 He's the um quick thinking battle tactician, so he'll be helping everyone out pretty much. Which I'm happy for. Then we got Senna, the small in stature but has a giant strength. Which I like that. Tiny tiny bitty Wait. Hold on, what what's the phrase I'm looking for? Small but packs a huge punch? There, there's a, I know there's a fucking better phrase for that. But yeah, small and packs a punch. But look at the mod. Can we just all appreciate that the modeling that how they did everybody? Like it actually looks fucking. It looks good. It actually looks. It looks really good. The modeling and shit. Like I can actually see the details on pretty much everybody's face. You can see the highlights. I see the highlights. The shades. The shades. The fucking variations. Then we keep going. A little bit further, we're about to see right here another thing with Ethel. And my God, hold on, let me go off. Oh, yeah, there was like one small Ethel frame. There's one small Ethel frame, but hold on, my God, I'm gonna go off the rope, the ropes real quick. Look at that, nigga. That shit is tight around the coach, bro. That coach, God damn. And that shirt that is not handling shit at all. You can see the literal stretch marks in the shirt. All right. It's enough of me getting all blue bold over Ethel. Also, I realized something. There's a lot of scenes. There, I feel like there's gonna be a few scenes with them just not really having all of their really have their clothes on. Holy, they're just in a whole ass tank top. <laughs> mainly, uh, mainly Lance, you, you know, and Cena. They're just all fuck tank tops. Am I? Huh? What is happening? Then we go to the Boundless Worlds, pretty much, we're going to be exploring everything, literally everything, which I'm fucking happy for. God, these worlds and shit are so good, and the animals too. They got some overturning animals like the lobsters and the frogs. Also, having like the animals like fight, fight over each other in terrain, it pretty much makes the world even more alive. Like. There's actually predators and preys now. Then you got the sleeping giant immortal Gonzalez. Then we got the demonic creature, the a giant fucking antler horn, and then you just see um um Kevis and um Agus just troll soldiers randomly fight each other. So pretty yeah, you could pretty much conflict with them if you want to. Then the whole thing of getting side quests, which I'll probably do those, and then cooking is involved, which I'm happy for. Then skip travels back, which I'm fucking happy for. Then the quest routes. Oh my god, I am so happy that this is here. I've actually been able to visually see the fucking line to go to your damn quest, so I don't lose track. That's gonna help me so much. I don't get lost in side quests anymore. I'm not gonna get fucking lost finally, because in I'm one in bro, in one in two, it was a pain just to go to certain side quests because they just. There wasn't like a big significance on the outside world. You had to go off based off of what the fuck was in your face. Just the dots, like... Oh! I remember in 2, I was stuck on chapter 3 for so long, all because I didn't know where the hell to go. Yeah, that's the confusing part. Pe people got confused on 3. And I can definitely agree. That shit was confusing at first to figure out where to go. Because there's a lot of oh, like... Look it up. Yeah, there's a lot of backtracking and then just... You gotta go back and shit. But then the battling. Let me talk about the fight. The battle you're about to be doing. So well, let's take a look at this UI. We have Fusion, which is R ZR. Air Slash. Sword Strike. Ground Beat. I'm glad it, like, you could see a meter for the chain attacks. Yup. And then Overclock Buster. And then the ta um, Tactics. Which is art. By the way, this fucking weird ass bird serpent thing is back, which I don't know. Looks ugly as shit. <laughs> um, bull rush is a topple. Pressure drop is a launch. So, yep, everybody is pretty much gonna be able to do this blade combo, as long as everyone's alive. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Is like as long as everyone's alive. And then ether, ether's back. Oh no. We got more, like, yes, well, we got more stats to worry about. Oh, no. I have so much shit to worry about in this game now. 
Like the simple, oh, lower the defense, you can raise your attack, raise your evasion, your speed, all that. It's like, oh, yeah, the dexterity, oh, makes sense. Oh, it looks so much cleaner. This whole scene looks so much cleaner now when they summon their weapons. Oh, it looks so much more fine tuned. Oh, and then you can just slide. And the whole thing of sliding, which I talked about this like a week. Is he doing a dodge in some of those scenes? I think that's a. I, it might be a dodge, but I think it's some kind of roll. Not roll. I think it's some kind of um attack attack slide or roll, because it's mainly for positioning yourself. To get those, because you can roll and then attack afterwards, which I'm fucking happy for. Then they're showing up the classes of. Oh my god, there's so many fucking enemies in this game that I'm gonna have to fight. <laughs> By the way, I'm so glad they're gonna fix, the, like, the UI. It's gonna be like, you're gonna have to look at so much shit. Break, topple, launch, smash. We already know this shit. If you play Xenoblade 2 and 1, you definitely know this combo. And then the chain attacks. I cannot wait to see this shit with everybody's cutscene. Because you can do, look at this, you can do different combinations. Bombshell, Blitz, Brave Assault, Tyrant Wave, Attacks during Chain Attacks, gain 70% chance to bypass the fences, like, and you get this cool ass cutscene of the character with, with her eye. I'm before. This all sounds fucking deadly. Everyone, I already know, Persona fans, oh wait, that guy stole that from Persona, they stole the eyes, no, we got that first. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it, bitch. And then you get to pick, like, alright, so this is how it's gonna go in order. Boom, 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 they're gonna do all this shit in order. And then, you get your character, does a final fucking attack, and it looks cinematically cool as shit. By the way. Like. Oh my god. And then, the game changer, classes. Everybody gets to choose a different fucking class. Now, my question is, it can everybody... Not everybody can be the same fucking class. I know that for sure. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's... <laughs> oh my god. The outfit is soft when it came to everybody. Damn. Now everybody can actually draw out the swaps now because they literally swap outfits. This looks... This whole image looks so weird. I'm just saying. It looks so weird. Because it... Cause they are mixed with Uni's outfit. Uni's outfit looks actually good on Tay. It makes sense for Tay on with Uni's outfit, and then vice versa. And then with but with Miho, with Miho and fucking Noah, it looks kind of odd. But at the same time, it, it makes a little sense because the jacket, both the jackets are mixed. But when you go to fucking Lance and Sen and Sita, Lance just gets this tiny ass trench coat. And fucking Santa gets this big ass coat. And it's like these outfits. <laughs> That's so cursed. It looks so weird. I'm sorry, just Lance and Santa look so weird because their outfits they because they don't have much on. And Lance has this big ass coat. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ, I can't wait to do this. Bro, this game might be so fucking fun to play. Mmm. Yeah, they're just, yeah, they're literally dodge rolls. They roll in. Yeah, they just roll in. Oh my fucking god, bro. Oh my god. Please. Give me this game now. Fuck. Yeah, every, okay, so I'm right. Everyone can actually be, uh, so you can swap it all around. So I can make Senha a healer, Lance, Lance an attacker, Yuni a defender, Miho a healer. Same with, oh Jesus Christ. Oh, oh no! I'm just make everybody a healer. I'm not doing. No, then you have no fucking attack. You can live. Say, oh, oh but what attack? What attack can everybody else be a healer? I don't even think that shit's gonna work. To be honest, I feel like somebody's gonna bypass the it healing. Worked too. It worked. Someone's it someone's gonna bypass all that healing in this game. You already know it. If you could just do all this, somebody's gonna do. Some enemy in the game is just gonna do that, and you're gonna be like, damn. Or somebody's just gonna be every make everybody in defense, and it's just gonna be a full-on tank army. Someone's gonna be like, "All right, if can I beat Xenoblade Three with only a attacker party?" I'm like, "Oh, this this man. We'll see, because we have HP, attack, healing power, dexterity, agility." 
critical rate, block rate, physical defense, and ether defense. And if we look at Noah's stats right now, his attack is much higher than his healing power because his healing power is only 24. So why would you make him a healer? Um, that's all on you, buddy. I would say you can make a defender, but not a damn healer. No one can't be healed. They can't heal for shit. That's also a gun. This man letting y'all know we have a fucking giant ass gun. Just simply. And then Uni with the giant train. Okay, I just want. I just want to see this now. I just want to see everyone's outfit swaps now. That's all I want to see. Because I just saw Uni with a giant ass trench coat. What the fuck? I need this now. And then the fusion arts. Bro, like, what the fuck? This fusion arts are a thing and everything's gonna be so good. Oh my god, man. And then, heroes. What are the crit? Pretty much are replaceable with blades. Ashura, that is a military woman at best, and I already know people are gonna love the fuck out of her. What do you do? I already know it. Then we got the Valdi. Well, Valdi, I'm just gonna say, call him that. He's a healer supporter, which I'm probably might use some more. And then Ricky and Monomon. Riku and Monomon. I said Ricky. Goddamn. Everyone has fucking nipsable <laughs> names. And then Fiona. She's a fucking Oni. She got the little horns on her head. This is a fucking Oni. I really want to use her. She looks fucking precious as fuck. Then we got Alexandria. She's an attacker. And can we just say she is hot as fuck? Fuck. Oh my god. She is hot. I never thought I'd be the guy. Damn. And then we got Gray. This nigga's a badass. He fighting, he fucking fighting Noah and everybody. He like, bro. Fuck you doing? I'm like, yo, this nigga's a badass, bro. Vicky. And then we get, you know, the other heroes that are gonna meet in the adventure. Yeah, he got two. He dual with him, bro. He dual with him two fucking guns. That nigga don't give a fuck. Then we got, yeah, we got more other characters. They showed her off. I don't, that's probably Baldi's sister. If I'm being honest, that's probably either Baldi's sister or Land's sister, because they do look alike. Right, yeah, after Grey. But we're definitely going to see this shit again, like, mm-mm-mm. Like, we're going to be meeting her. I don't know whose sister is that. I really wish I knew. We already saw him because they tweeted about him. Yeah, that's that's just a definite fucking Oni right there. She, Fiona's fucking Oni. It just, it screams Oni. I even saw the whole symbol on her. And then we got the fucking pixelated hero. And I just want to know. My, my best, get, best guess is Dunban. Because I thought it was like Shulk or Rex. So I'm like, nah. Rex. It's... I, I, I feel like it was. It I just see a little bit more yellow. And I just paused. I just paused it by by hitting my desk. Somehow paused the video by hitting my fucking desk. But like, uh, I just I just want to play this fucking game next week. Not week. Fuck next month. God damn it. It comes out in a month. Give me this shit, man. Oh my god, dude. I want to play the hell out of this game. <laughs> Oh my god, there's just so much shit in here. She got a bow too, by the way. They gave her a goddamn bow. And you got three attackers. Yeah, everyone's the same outfit. There's literally everyone's a, the same outfit. Everybody got a red jacket on. They're all attackers. What the what they're all bloods. What is happening? I just want to play this game, bro. And then we I wish saw a little bit more of like customer or like a customer costume customization. Then we got the Ouroboros. Possibly gonna be one of the coolest things to be playing in this goddamn game. But this shit looks fucking cool. So the weird part is with the Ouroboros is that we're seeing in the scene that Van Damme just used some kind of goddamn machine and pretty much forcibly turned them into Ouroboruses, it looks like. That's what I'm guessing. 
Yeah, he he literally made, forcibly made Miho and Noah fuse into an Ouroboros. So it's like, how does that shit work? <laughs> that shit looks so cool, by the way, with their eyes. Oh my god. Giving more expression to goddamn Oh my fucking god. This shit is- Oh, oh my god. I'm gonna play this shit. God, my- Oh my god, the dudes! Oh my god, the cutscenes, dude! It looks so fucking good! It looks so fucking- It looks so fucking good! It looks so fucking pretty! Everybody's running properly in this game! Holy shit! Damn it, alarm! Fuck you! Oh, it looks so good! Mmm, these cutscenes! I can't wait to play this, dude! These cutscenes look so good! And then... The Ouroboros has a fucking skill chart! There's too much shit to this game! This is all gonna be a lot of shit that I'm gonna have to memorize. There's too much shit. There's a skill chart for the Aura Boys. Oh, and it's a separate one for each goddamn pairing. Actually, wait, no, because each Aura Boys is paired to one person. Because even though you need two people, it's only one person controlling it. So, like, each person has an Aura Boys that you gotta level up their skill chart. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing so much goddamn grinding, bro. It's you right? Are they riding on the sword? What the fuck? <laughs> I, I, I'm just so okay. <laughs> This fucking game. It's so beautiful. It's so goddamn beautiful. The art style. And the, you can see everybody. He's black. He looks so good being black. Also, by the way, if y'all didn't know this, actually, um, Noah is our Noah is our first dark 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 fucking skin character I've seen in our main party. You see the skin tones on my man. God damn, he looks good. Oh my god, I can't wait to play this shit. And there's Nia, pretty much her fine ass. And they can just go into a fucking world like swap between at with like. Oh, oh my god, man. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? Bro. Bro. <laughs> fucking can't, bro. I fucking can't. And then. The vault of peace that I just thought the fucking expansion pass, and as you can see, no the Neo Blade and goddamn Pyro Sword there. You know what the I fuck about the fuck sword. You know what the fuck is about to happen. You already know what's assuming, about to fucking happen, bro. I'm assuming the shot the Xenoblade one content isn't gonna come around December because they said December and April so I'm assuming December is gonna be the Xenoblade 1 content and then April is gonna be the Xenoblade 2 content July 29th. Shit J July 29th by the way guys so let's recap everything we have master arts which pair up with normal arts which go with your class would go with, with every single fucking class in the game that there is then you have the Ouroboros' skill chart you have a lot of shit to do and that you can level up and customize your team into like the most craziest shit ever. You can get so fucking creative with this. Oh my god. You thought elemental like reactions were crazy? No nigga, this shit got even crazier. Oh my fucking god. Apparently a location from porno was shown in the trailer. Yeah, that that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, well, like what the fuck? They're just fusing everything together. I just, I just don't know. <laughs> so they're giving us everything. This just makes me happy. But yeah. One step at a time, too. That's all.
that's all I want to talk about this fucking trailer. Just be, just be going through the shit and just re-watching it and actually smith. Alright. Nope, I'm done. Before I get even more excited, and blow my socks off. I gotta go.